What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So guess what? Today we are going to cut a pretty cool haircut. Let me actually grab that haircut and show you what it's going to be. So this is the haircut that we're going to be working on. I know it's a little crazy style, but we had some fun with some spray wax. We'll talk about that in a second, but just the lines that we're going to create in this cut, you can see how it passes around. We do sort of like a round graduation. Actually, it is a round graduation and we pull it into the back. We create this point. So a ton of technical things that you're gonna learn in this cut today also my new friends at Evo sent me this box of products so today we're gonna kind of build this haircut around uh, using some of those products as well so let me unbox some of these products and share with you guys what they sent not only did they send a ton of really great products but this box is hilarious speed dating the perfect arena to get a bite-sized taste without the instant life commitment Evo is committed to no commitment unless you want to commit then we are fully committed or not I mean we like you but no pressure who wants to conform to the standard social relationships we get where you're coming from unless you want something more which we're up for but you know whatever the funniest part about that is the fact that that's exactly, I think, how I explain things. So it made no sense, but it makes sense. All right, so we got a ton of products here. We have a dry spray wax, which I use in this style. I also use the lockdown. So I will talk about those in the video. The rest of these products I have not used yet. So um, I have experience with these two. Not so much with these. I'll most likely be doing future videos with these products so that you guys can kind of learn more about them. But for now, we're gonna stick to these two, this haircut. I don't wanna waste any more time. I'm super excited to show you guys this technique. Thank you to Evo for the products. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're gonna get started with the haircut today. I'm super excited to bring you guys this round graduation. Um, key things here, just to start it off, is the sectioning. Sectioning is pretty standard. Uh, parietal ridge, back to mid crown, wrapping it around, creating a U shape on the top of the head, splitting at the division line, and then breaking it up into two panels in the back. Now I'm gonna start working on the right hand side first. Now my finger angle is really important in this haircut, making sure that that finger is pointing in the direction you want to go with your shape or the outer perimeter line so what I wanted to do first in this cut is really create and this is a um, kind of a, a, a Sassoon um, inspired start to this cut um, and it was in their graduation series so what I wanted to do was create a hard line then build a graduation off of that uh, and that's where I took for one of the videos then we're gonna go and I'm gonna put my little spin on it which is taking the top and doing some dry cutting um, to really create a bunch of texture on top of the head so taking a very classic shape um, and then modernizing it or just giving it my own touch not necessarily making it modern but just giving it my own flair uh, at the end so the way that you create the line is just keeping everything at a low elevation um, pretty much we'll call it zero degrees but I don't like to say zero degrees because I think the degrees confuses people I just want to keep it at the lowest elevation possible because the lower your elevation um, the stronger the line is going to be at the bottom so I start off cutting that line. Notice as well that finger angle is kind of pointing up more towards the nose than it is down towards the chin. And what that's gonna do is start to bring that line up. Um, this haircut I think is cool and it stands out because typically we follow the jawline. I wanted to go kind of from the back up to more of the cheekbone area uh, and kind of enhance that a little bit. So. Um, that's my take on this haircut. So now I've got my hard line. You can see that graduation built in there, uh, but it's super heavy. So I'm gonna go through and now just elevate it slightly, still keeping it as a graduation, but and, and then follow the round of the head um, to keep my round shape, right? So if you look at the outer perimeter line or the line that runs horizontally, that's gonna be the shape that we're creating. So just going up through there, taking small half inch uh, sections or partings and then bringing them out and graduating them up. Now your initial guideline comes from your line at the very bottom, at the hairline, right? So uh, just make sure that's why you want that strong perimeter line first, then you go in and you will um, graduate from there. So you'll notice that my fingers are pointing down. I think this is a key thing and, and a lot of people struggle with 
uh, hand positioning and hair cutting, I always think about my thumb is pointing in the direction I'm going. So if I'm moving to the right, then my thumb will be pointing to the right. And you'll notice that when I take this section. Then I, what I want you guys to notice is that when I go to the left side, now all of a sudden my fingers are pointing up, my thumb is pointing to the left because that's the direction I'm moving in that way. That just keeps me consistent in my combing. Um, and the more consistent you are with combing, the more consistent your haircut is gonna be. So taking a little bit of the old hair, grabbing some of the new hair, making sure you have a clean guideline in there, and you don't wanna take too thick of a section. Uh, too many people grab too much hair at once, um, and in some cases that works, but in precision cutting, when you grab too much hair and you're over directing it too much, you're building a totally different, um, you're pushing weight every single time you do that, I guess is the easiest way I can say it. So just be very careful with how much weight, how much hair you're grabbing in your section. And it's mostly because of the over direction, not because you can't see your guide. So we're finishing up the right hand side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video um, as we do the left hand side because it's exactly the same. The only difference is make sure you watch my hand positioning and where my thumb is pointing and that's the only change that we make. But we cut our line and then we do our graduation. So now we're going to kick off the blow dry using the lockdown product from Evo. The thing I love about this product is it's not only a smoothing treatment, but it has a little bit of hold. Um, it gives style control and it's designed for frizzy and unruly hair. So if you have anything like that, then this is definitely a good product for you. So check out this, uh, in the blow dry, I'm going to do a flat wrap technique, really working the head shape, um, especially because this is a round shaped haircut. I want to work the round of the head back and forth, doing a little bit of leafing just to add a little bit of volume and just working my way through the blow dry. Now I'm using the Ergo Diamond Head Paddle Brush. I love this uh, brush, it's one of my favorites uh, because I love a paddle brush, but I love a mini paddle brush even more. So if you wanna check one of those out, go to freesaloneducation.com. You can get yourself one of those brushes. And then I'm going through with the uh, Paul Mitchell Pro Tools um, iron and just working um, some iron work in there to smooth everything out. And then I let down the top and I start to blow dry. You might ask, why did I blow dry the bottom first and then blow dry the top? I like to keep it separated, get the bottom exactly the way I want it, and then let down the top, blow it dry, then I can smooth that out. So now we're gonna finish this haircut, and really just personalize it using a tease cutting technique. What the tease cutting technique does, is it creates a really soft edge to your line. So basically what I do is I elevate the hair. Now when I put the scissor into the hair, it's a half close of the scissor. So as I move the scissor into the hair, I'm actually half closing it, which pinches the hair in there and it actually removes the hair that way. I'm not just sliding the blade um, along the hair. I really wanna make sure that I'm cutting. So when you practice this technique, um, practice it on a doll head or somebody you don't like, um, you wanna make sure that you practice the technique sliding in and half closing the scissor and then releasing and then slide in, half close the scissor and release. And then I'm working around the head shape from the mid crown area all the way around following the round of the head to keep this a round feeling haircut. So now as I get to the front of the head shape, the th only thing that's really gonna change is I bring it over to me instead of continuing to follow around the round of the head. So I'm gonna push a little extra length right into that front center um, of the cut because then I'm gonna go in after this and I'm gonna cut it a little bit different. So as I work to the left-hand side, the body position gets a little bit um, different. So what happens is now I scoop underneath and I pull it towards me. My key thing here is that I really want to make sure that um, every time I take a section, I'm doing it the same way as I did on the opposite side. And not the same way as like my hand positioning is the same, but the same way as I'm pulling the hair the same way. So I was pulling it back to me on the ones on the right side, and now I'm pulling it back to me on the left side. Um, as we get to the front, I over it a little bit back, and we push that weight to the front. 
And then you're going to be able to see uh, now as we move into it um, what I'm going to do in the top of the haircut. So now we're going to start putting in our outer perimeter line. Now, a lot of people think that the line happens in the wet cut. The wet cut, what we were doing at the beginning is just really, we were establishing our shape and establishing our length, but not necessarily the outer perimeter line of the haircut. So what I do is I start in the back and I work my line up to behind the ear. And then I go to the very front of the head and I start to decide exactly where I want that to hit, which is around the cheekbone area. So um, I define the line in the back or I get it started. And then I go to the front and I connect it into the back. And that seems to work the best for me. So just using the tip of the scissor, and then as I get that line in, I go through and I just kind of chop away at it until I get the line exactly the way that I want. So notice all the tiny little details that go into creating this outer perimeter. Know that this did not take me the two minutes that you're watching. This probably took me 10 to 15 minutes of just really going around and cutting in that outer perimeter line. Now I just finish up with a little bit of point cutting just to take out a little bit of density in the shape just to soften everything. And then in the very front, I go back in with some tease cutting to finish off this technique. And that's a heavy stroke you can see. But what that does just removes a ton of weight, lightens up the bang, gives it a side bang kind of feel to it. So decide which direction you want that to go in, pull it all over there and cut it. So I'm going to finish up with She Bang a Bang, the dry spray wax from Evo. I'm going to spray that in, add a ton of texture. You can see this is the calm version of the style. So lots of texture in there, but still that nice perimeter line. I really love the shape. And then I go in really blast it with the product because I want to just create a ton of texture in this thing. Um, give it some volume give it some movement and this to me is something that would be so great on curly hair straight hair it works on pretty much everyone so um, try it out let me know tag me at free salon education on social media so I can see your work or your version of this cut thank you so much for watching if you have any questions post them in the comments below see you on the next video Thanks.